Hey everybody, this is the moment you've been waiting for. I did put a teaser out on Instagram and Twitter that I received the Elgato 4K60 Pro in the mail. But I think it's time we actually bring it out of the box and see what we've got. We've got a box. And inside this box we have bum, 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 bum. We have a card. Now, looking at it carefully, you don't want to be fiddling with the uh, contacts and stuff like that. Here it is, the Elgato 4K60 Pro. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so it's a simple card. Goes into a PCI 4E slot. It also comes with the cable and some directions and stuff like that. Cable, card, and stuff like that. So the next thing we need to do is uh, show you how we put it in the PC. So we'll put it in the PC and then we'll show you what we can do with it. Are you excited? <laughs> I am. We'll do it here. We'll be right back. <laughs> so I got my iBuy Power gaming PC here. Uh, you'll see there's, a, I've got a separate video for the unboxing of my iBuy Power. Now the question is, PC slot that runs at times four mode. So here it says this comes with two PCI Express 3.0 times 16 slots, PCI 2 at 16 mode, PCI 4 times four mode. However, PCI 4 slot will run at two times mode if PCI 5 and PCI is occupied. Well, PCI 5, PCI 1 are bottom two slots and you'll see the bottom two slots down there are not occupied. That means it's going to run at times four like advertised. So how do we get in there? Well, two things. One, we take this off. And carefully put this over here. So it means it's going into this slot here, which corresponds to this bay. That's what I was, that's actually the important part. Uh oh. We need a screwdriver. <laughs> We're back. Got a screwdriver. All right, confirm the alignment. Yep, it's going to be this one. Hey, come back here. So we take this screw out and we take this guy out because this card is actually going to take this place of that. A couple things, don't do this on carpet. Um, you should wear one of those static wrist, wrist things that's grounded and or make sure you don't touch any of the metal parts on the motherboard or on the card itself. You don't want to go and ruin a $300 card. So we'll be right back. So here's the card, there's the metal contacts that you don't want to touch. And this is the bay we're gonna go in. Okay, this slides forward and back. So let me slide that back. Okay. And the other thing is you've got to make sure that the foot on the here by the top of the motherboard has also got to have the place to go. <laughs> it just flops, flops right in. Okay, and then I'm going to slide the plastic thing forward. And that should be it there. And we want to make sure it stays seated. So You always want to start by hand tightening and then you can tighten it with the screwdriver after you start with the hand tightening. All right, cards in. Put the top back on. But I like to, uh, like a tightening a tire, do opposite ends. Fire it up! All righty, so we've got the card in the computer. We've got the card, uh, the computer back in place. We've taken the HDMI from the Xbox One X, put it in the import of the graphics of the capture card. We've taken the the HDMI cable that came with the capture card in the out port into our monitor. So 
So the first thing I want to do is start up the gaming PCs. Let's see if the gaming PC recognizes it. So that's why I'm going to give you this video like this and not from the gaming PC its perspective itself. Go! Oh! We'll be right back. So, read the inside of the box when you open it. So download the uh, 4K Capture Utility for Windows. <laughs> Thanks for downloading. Let's open it. Welcome to the 4K Capture Utility Setup. Next. Accept the terms. Next. Help to improve 4K sharing anonymous usage data. Yep. Next. Program files. I hope I've got space for it. Next. Click install. Yes, we want to allow them to do what they need to do. Finish. Alright, we've installed it. We're going to go ahead and reboot and see if that brings up the interface that we need. See if we're seeing anything. Okay, so HDMI 1 is seeing this video capture device, webcam, webcam, capture cards, Elgato. So this is where it would come from. So it does see the game, see, so it does see the game capture 4K 60 Pro video 1. So Windows has, Windows does see the card. Problem was before you have to have a proprietary webcam to run this to be able to video it. So my workaround was this pretty expensive workaround. Oh, it looks like your TV supports 4K resolution. Give it a try. Oh, there it is. It. <laughs> <laughs> it pro I had it selected right as uh, the, the the 4K Elgato Pro capture device. There it is. Well, look at that, folks. We got it up. We didn't even run the freaking 4K capture utility, but we did have to download and install it. That is important. Make sure you download and install the 4K utility from the Elgato Elgato site itself. Holy cow, ladies and gentlemen! Let's do a test on Twitch to see if this works well. Now here's where here's where the advantage of this capture card comes in handy, folks. I can stream now from my gaming PC out to Twitch. And no matter what I do with my Xbox One X, it's not going to take me in and out of Twitch as I'm changing games and stuff like that. So let's set up Twitch. Yes, yeah, see we want to use we want to have our video. So there's our video from here. Our video from here is right here now as part of this. And we've got the uh, chat, which we really don't need. Okay, so I've got sound in here, but not in my regular headphones. I was wondering if the sound would carry over or not. I guess that kind of answered that question. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, finished the upgrade. We finished uh, upgrading the uh, Xbox, Xbox One X software and stuff like that. So I've changed the monitor setting to receive what the capture card seeing. I've already got it set up. We're already streaming to Twitch right now. Uh, to see that, I would need to change monitors, which we can do pretty easily. We can see that we've got the game in the background, our monitor, our webcam over here. But the best way to actually play the game would be to have the full monitor here. I can uh, monitor over here on my twi actual Twitch stream. Okay. Now we can actually play the game here. We did test the sound on the Twitch feedback. Uh, we are getting game sound and my voice sound as well. So it looks like we've uh, <laughs> it looks like we've mastered it. So thank you all for watching me on Boxel Gato 4K60 Pro, and we'll see you on the battlefield. Hey, come back here. Hey, come back here. Don't. Try not to do that. <laughs> yeah, we know exactly what we're doing. Okay, so not obvious to me, uh, because there really didn't come with any instructions. Uh-oh. <laughs>
Download the Elgato 4K Capture Utility to get started. <laughs> Don't just plug things in, folks. Read the directions. <laughs> service not available. What do you mean, service not available? <laughs> I haven't played that on Max by One X so long. Everything is. <gasps> oh! I know what the problem is. I've only got one Ethernet cable coming into the room, so that means Max Box One X is not connected to the internet. <laughs> it does help if you have internet access to your Xbox One X. Oh, <laughs> trying to use my mouse to click start update. Oh, we're just having all sorts of fun here today. Oh, uh, one three point six gig. All right, so we're gonna pause you guys until we come back. We've got everything updated and we're ready to stream. 